How's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and we're still looking at the Lassa CTF Capture the Flag competition uh, that's going on this week. Uh, the challenge that we're looking at right now is client side, and the prompt here is Kyle didn't think his login form was secure enough, so he had a JavaScript. Smart, right? It's a web challenge. Um, it's talking about JavaScript, so it's client side stuff. Uh, let's see if it has a vulnerability. It probably should, considering it is a uh, uh, CTF challenge. All right, so it's just a simple login field, if you can see it here. Um, we have username and password field, and it does give us a login PHP source, which displays all this jazz, but if we actually view the source with control U, we can see it's using, okay, including stuff, uh, making a SQLite, okay, so we know we're working with SQLite, um, it does a MySQL, uh, MySQL uh, query, and we notice it's just including these as password and stuff, as, as a unescaped variables, so we should be able to do probably a little bit of SQL injection, but let's see what the JavaScript actually is. If I control you to view the source of this page, we can see it, it does have a check valid function that's actually being ran uh, once we submit this login form. And the login form is going to login.php rather than the current page. So obviously it has to have, with testing with this regular expressions, it has to just be A through Z, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. So I can get through with, like, anything, anything, but it, not the right password, obviously. We don't know what the correct password is, but we want to be able to do some, like, SQL injection. We'd want to be able to do, like, or 1 equals 1, and then uh, comment out the rest of the query, right? Because password doesn't really matter. But this JavaScript gets in the way. And just to verify, we wanted to look at SQLite. Was that the database? Yeah, SQLite 3. SQLite comment. Okay, SQLite comments begin with two consecutive hyphen characters. So rather than the principle would just be backslash backslash. But JavaScript is in the way. So we have to get around that. We have to actually write some code. In our case, it'll be able to do that for us. So it should be client side. I already have it uh, written in my ape one, but I'll write it in the getflag.py. And I'll make this visible so we can see it. And let's get started. Let's get a little shebang line, USR. And I'm going to do this with the requests module. So let's actually grab an address for one thing. And let's make that requests so let's return a response object we'll do requests dot get for now we'll just do the address and we'll print out response dot text okay and we get the html page just as we had before so now let's actually supply some data to it and see what happens let's post to address and let's supply data can equal username equal anything and password can equal anything it looks like it does that want this on executive lines just for the pep8 standard is that what it wants is that what it wants let's just bring this all to one the space character in here And then we'll close all of our stuff just like that. What's the matter? Okay, cool. That's the correct pet page center. So now we can run this. And we still get this HTML page because remember, when you look at the source here, this is actually going to login.php, not the current page. So we'll have to change this our address to login.php. Now when we run this, we get our login failed, which is perfect. But since JavaScript's not in our way, we can actually go through with our SQL injection, right? So remember, when you actually look at the PHP source, what we're looking at here is injecting name equals username. And it's just delimiting these SQL terms with a single quote. So we can supply our username to actually use double quotes here to represent the string. And we'll use single quotes to denote the beginning and end of our SQL statement. And we'll use our or, one equals one, and since we want a SQL comment, we'll use our two comment uh, 
hyphens there. Now when we run this, hey, we are logged in, and our flag is this. So let's scrape that out. There's our flag, dot strip, oh. and now let's actually remove that dash p. Cool. So there's our flag. Let's make this executable in our terminal. Get flag, and it runs just fine for us. There is our flag. We can go ahead and submit it and get some more points. Seventy. Seventy points. Good stuff. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Real simple thing, just avoiding JavaScript, actually automating a request and an HTTP response and request uh, in Python, just using the request module. And do a little SQL injection. Cool. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in a uh, later video.